here's exactly which MacBook Air or MacBook Pro you should buy at any price point. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and you can find me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and subscribe and enable those notifications so you don't miss a single video. Now I've got a few laptops here today and I'm gonna walk you through exactly which Mac you should buy at every price point. So you can go ahead and use the chapter markers down below to skip to the section that's most relevant to you or watch the whole video and see your whole lineup of options. Apple's portable Mac lineup has a large delta in price right now. As you can see from this graph, you can spend several thousands of dollars on the highest end 16 inch MacBook Pro, but you can also spend less than $2,000 on a very well spec machine. So I'm gonna break this video down into sections for less than $2,000, from $2,000 to $2,500, and beyond that $2,500 mark. So let's go ahead and start off with that sub $2,000 price point, which has some decent amount of wiggle room within it. If you're looking to spend less than $2,000 on a Mac, the one that I would recommend for almost everybody out there is a variant of the M1 MacBook Air. For most people, I would say get the step up version. It costs $12.49 retail, and you get a larger SSD on the inside, as well as the eight core GPU. That puts it very comparable to the 13 inch MacBook Pro. I think this is the one that most people should pick up. Now, there are times when you may want to consider that 13 inch MacBook Pro. And I would say if you want to go with a 13 inch MacBook Pro, you should do it because you need that slightly brighter screen, maybe you're doing a lot of work outside, or you want the larger battery life. There are performance improvements thanks to the better cooling of the 13 inch MacBook Pro, but I don't think it's big enough of a jump to warrant spending it over the 13 inch M1 MacBook Air. So for everyone out there, pick up the MacBook Air. If you need better battery life or a slightly brighter display, consider getting the 13 inch MacBook Pro. Within that $2,000 price range, you have plenty of room to upgrade things like the internal storage and upgrading the memory to 16 gigs. If I could interject for just a moment, do you want to experience twice as fast load times in Safari on your iPhone, iPad, and Mac? Then download Magic Lasso Adblock, the ad blocker designed for you. It's easy to use, can even block YouTube ads, and can double the speed at which Safari loads. Thank you to Magic Lasso for sponsoring this video. Magic Lasso is an efficient, high performance, and free ad blocker. With over 4,000 five-star reviews, it is simply the best Safari ad blocker for your iPhone, iPad, and Mac. It blocks all intrusive ads, trackers, and annoyances, letting you experience a faster, cleaner, and more secure web browsing experience. And unlike some other ad blockers, Magic Lasso respects your privacy and doesn't accept payments from advertisers. The app also now blocks over 10 types of YouTube ads, including all video ads and pop-up banner ads. So join over 200,000 users and download Magic Lasso Adblock for free from the App Store or via www.magiclasso.co. As a special thank you to Apple Insider viewers, if you use the link down below in the description or pinned in the comments, you will get one month of free access to all of the app's pro features. Thank you again to Magic Lasso Adblock for sponsoring this video. Now, let's get back to our main content. At the $2,000 to $2,500 price point, I'd recommend most people make the leap to the 14 inch MacBook Pro. At that point, you do get the M1 Pro processor on the inside, which carries a substantial performance improvement over the M1. It has all the new redesigned features, including the glorious new display, an SD card reader, HDMI output, and MagSafe 3. There's a lot of great stuff about this machine, so I think it's the right one to get around that $2,000 to $2,500 price point. But that said, if you don't need the performance improvements, you can step down from the 14 inch MacBook Pro and go back to the 13 inch MacBook Pro. But you can outfit that 13 inch MacBook Pro with things like a one terabyte SSD and 16 gigs of RAM on the inside. So I think that one makes sense if you need more storage instead of the performance. So it just depends on what is important to you. 
you can get more storage and memory at that $1,900 price point instead of having to jump up to the M1 Pro if that speed is just unnecessary to what you're doing. For just daily tasks, you don't need the M1 Pro on the inside. A more specced out 13 inch MacBook Pro will do you just fine. On the other hand, if you wanna spend a little bit more than the $2,000 base price, I'd recommend you can jump up for $200 to the 10 core CPU or spend $200 and double the SSD storage from 512 gigs to a whole one terabyte. When it comes to above $2,500, it gets both more difficult and easier at the same time to decide. At this point, you have to decide between a 14 or a 16 inch MacBook Pro. The good news is they're effectively the same machine, just different screen sizes. They have the same specs, same ports, same designs. So you're just deciding based on the size of the display. Now, if you go with the 14 inch MacBook Pro, you can get a little bit better specs on it because you can upgrade the memory or the storage for less money because you have a smaller screen. Now, if you want those same specs on a 16 inch MacBook Pro, you're gonna pay a little bit more for it. A good example of this is with the M1 Max processor. If you go with a 14 inch MacBook Pro, it'll only cost you $2,900 to get that M1 Max processor, where it'll cost you $3,100 if you wanna get it with a 16 inch display. So again, it's just gonna come down to what is most important to you, whether you need that larger display of the 16 inch MacBook Pro, or you wanna save a little bit of money and get those better specs at a lower price point with the 14 inch MacBook Pro. So which Mac makes the most sense for you? Are you gonna get the most widely recommended Mac, that 1249 MacBook Air with the M1 processor? Or are you gonna go all out and spec out a 16 inch MacBook Pro? Let me know down below in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. And if you'd like to grab any of these machines, I've been gathering some deals and I put the links for them down below in the description. Go ahead and grab them and stay tuned. Got a lot more videos headed your way.